This video demonstrates the detection of frequencies that would be used for electronic harassment. These frequencies would be used for causing biological effects and also the transmission of EEG data for remote neural monitoring, RNM. It's actually guaranteed that you haven't seen anything like this. It's also more significant for causing biological effects and RNM than research such as that of MRTs through the wall radar. This because the frequency range that are detected is in the human head's resonant frequency range, called ultra 4 and 500 megahertz. So it doesn't reflect on the surface or near the surface of us. These longer wavelength frequency ranges resonate within us, so we will see no biological effects, also be related with EEG data. Research from Wayne et al. of 2019 and Lee et al. of 2014 proves that this occurs because EEG electroactivity affects our antenna qualities, so it modifies or modulates the relay waves in strength and phase. This video demonstrates that the detection of these frequencies that we receive and re-radiate is achievable and using just a basic audio SDR device with code that I wrote to use it as a spectrum analyzer to detect these frequencies. The idea with this is that for an M to occur, signal to get from us to the perpetrator. The only known form of signal that could do this is an electromagnetic signal. And these signals are detectable because they have to always be there and they would be stronger when we're near an antenna or in the scanning region of a directional antenna. This graph from the code system shows a signal that I detected that I re radiate with significant amounts of electromagnetic energy. And according to the research of Wayne et al. and Lee et al., these signals will be re radiated with EG data for an M. This code also uses 3D graphics so I can rotate and view the graphs in 3D. Although this code system has a lot of other functionality, I'm not just going to demonstrate the essential functionality here to take the re rate energy. This graph shows the average values of the frequency range strength over time and can also be zoomed in on the specific frequency ranges and signals. And this graph shows the strength of the selected range over time. This is how we detect the re-rate electromagnetic wave energy from our cells. It increases when we're near the antenna, or in the scanning region of a direction antenna, then we know the extra energy is from us. This is the equipment used. Just a notebook with all the still plugged into it, connected to the IE direction antenna. The IE antenna in the notebook's boarding camera is pointed towards the area where I'll be staying. This is from where I'm standing, reason far away from the detection equipment, around 10 meters. The origin of the signal seems to be from a point in the sky, close to where the tree is. Geostation is satellite, but is also in this region, so it could be from a satellite, although there's also a cell phone tower in the same direction. The signal will be transferred towards me and then re rated back towards the Yagi antenna. This is a recording of the notebook screen and camera for the experiment. Remember, the camera is pointing where the Yagi antenna is also pointing. A scanning region to take the electronic energy from me. I watch the strong response of the signal strength graph, the red line, when I get into the detection region. And when I move out of it, it suddenly decreases. And again, the strong response is moving into it. This is a very significant increase in strength and means that this signal, just the basic audio SDR equipment, can be detected from a lot further away. Now the other videos you've seen where someone uses an RF energy or frequency detector device and moves it close to them, 
And a lot turns on when it makes some noise and you get in this detection something. Let me reduce the significance of their findings. Although this is from 10 meters away, it's so clearly demonstrating that these signals will travel over reasonably far ranges. Now I'll try something different. See how sensitive it is to movements in the detection region. It's not necessarily that it's not detecting energy from me when I move just a little further from the main detection region, though it is detecting a lot less. This shows just how sensitive a base called ACR used as a detector is to movements and this is from 10 meters away. Low perps generally don't use these signals through the wall radar and tracking. It shows that these signals could also be used for this. So this is significant information in EEG, and mostly just use your EEG data. Other research shows that images that you're thinking of can be determined, and also reconstructed just from it. So this proves that we re-radiate certain frequency ranges that cause biological effects and transmit EEG data for RNAM. And each of us has our own individual resonant frequency range. This established letter of wave antenna science. Ham radio uses a warn about transmitting these resonant frequency ranges. With each of us tuned to our own specific frequencies where we receive the most lateral energy and also re radiate the most lateral energy. This means that we receivers and transmitters at certain frequency ranges and that we can detect these. Though all the signals in these ranges aren't necessarily being intentionally used for us, frequency ranges themselves would be. So, what you've got to do is first find your resonant frequency and then we can do further research to determine if someone's intentionally transmitted on it to cause biological effects and for RM. So if you hear someone saying that the frequency is used are undetectable, they are either ignorant or they lie. It's strange how the perps get so-called RF engineers infiltrated into us to say they're not detectable, but with their equipment will cost millions of dollars. I find it very interesting that some of these so-called engineers aren't doing any actual research, or they're just working on gimmicks. And if they do say that they're doing research and have equipment, then they try and create the idea that the actual legitimate scientific research won't work to try to persuade others away from the answers. At least several of these so-called engineers that is used to try and control our research think perhaps know that if we research this they will find an answer so try to infiltrate and say it won't work when we really know scientifically that it will. Let's well, see because you reflect or re-radiate light. These signals though don't reflect off the surface of us so they re-radiate with the huge data from within. This is our perps see us. Clearly what I've achieved here is very significant. This is how biological effects would be caused. Since these signals cause and affect biological electrical currents, and also re-radiated with the EG data for RNM. It's got to be a signal that gets from us to the perps. This then is proof that such signals are detectable and would be used for electronic harassment. Read the description for this video for details on how I do this research.